To back up a computer using Norton Ghost 2003 to an external hard drive like this one, you want to go ahead and power on your computer with the disk in the drive, the CD, and push, in this case, F12 for the Dell boot menu, and then choose the CD drive as your boot source. You'll be prompted to press a key to confirm that you want to boot to the CD, so go ahead and do that. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose Load USB 2.0 Drivers, that was option 4, just using the down arrow keys. reason for that being we do want to uh, have the fastest backup speed possible. So I'm going to down arrow to that, press Enter, and you'll see some messages here about um, the hard drive installing properly. That's good. If you don't see the hard drive installing properly, that's an indication that you may have a non-compatible drive. Some of the newer drives are not recognizable by Norton Ghost 2003, since it is you know, about seven or eight years old. You may get some error messages. Um, that's fine. If you see something like installation failed, that just means that Ghost is installing some drivers in hopes of you know, one of those drivers working with your CD drive which usually will be the case. So anyway, it says the external drive is recognized and it's drive letter D. So I'm going to go ahead and type in here C colon and press enter. And because this is the actual ghost program CD, um, I'll find the ghost program in the support folder. So I'll type CD support and then ghost and press enter. And when the program starts, if it's the first time, it'll say something about, you know, this drive has not yet been um, calibrated or, you know, set up to work with Ghost. And you can go ahead and click OK on that. This is the basic startup message here. Uh, the drive that I'm working with already has been used with Ghost. So here we want to just choose that we're backing up the local disk. And we're going to back that up. We are backing it up to... A disk, of course, but we want to choose to image. If we choose to disk, it's going to overwrite our backup disk. So I'm going to choose backup local disk to image. And the first message that will pop up here just shows me that we're backing up um, drive number one, which is the notebook's internal hard drive. And then we'll get an option of where to put that. And I have the directories on this computer organized by manufacturer, like Dell and Gateway. So since this is a Dell, I'm going to choose Dell. And in this case, I don't have a uh, you know, directory for the Latitude D600, so I'm going to go ahead and choose to create that. I'll type in Latitude. Press Enter. And just to confirm that I'm getting in the right uh, directory here, this is one thing that will happen actually occasionally as you go to create a, a drive and the system will maybe pause or freeze up on you. So um, you may have to start over again or just kind of wait. So you saw that it, it flickered there. So apparently it was doing something, trying to create that drive directory. I'll start over again. Um, local disk being backed up to an image. Click. I'm going to go ahead and choose disk number one and go back into that Dell directory. In this case just one click opens that. Now you'll see that latitude directory there. And I'm not going to fumble around with trying to create a new folder for the D600. I'm just going to call this D600 as the image. And I'll click um, Save. And then it's asking, do you want to compress uh, no, fast, or high? I'm going to choose fast, just to speed up the backup, and proceed with image file creation. Yes. We'll get an estimated time here that may actually change a little bit. Um, it started at 5 minutes, now it's up to 6 minutes. But I'm guessing this backup will take about 15 minutes, and it'll be done. The advantage of putting a lot of backups on one hard drive is that backing up and restoring using a hard drive goes much faster than if you were to use media like CDs or DVDs. So that's the primary advantage of that. 